Yeah, we get we get in we get in our NBA tag of the thing you're at whatever hill. Tag show. of the hill, you're <laughs> tag, of, tag of the game, you're hill. <laughs> tag of the hills, you're gone. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> All right, we're here at the We Miss the Exit Podcast Show. I'm joined with Brian. Brian, how are you holding up today? Pretty good, Brent. How are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm still trying to get my voice back from the last two three weeks that's been going on. I've still been a little bit sick. Uh, so I'm still recovering from that, but I sound better than I did last week. All this talking and talking and talking, and you lost your voice, huh? I think that's what it was, just uh, talking about our matchup that we have going on. I just couldn't help myself, and I, I just wore myself out, I guess. So uh, we're going we're gonna to talk totally. we're, we're gonna talk about that. We'll, we'll get it as we're doing this NBA King of the Tag Your It show that we're going to be doing. Uh, we'll get into it, don't worry. So why don't we check to see how the standings are holding up, because I'm looking pretty good right now. Yeah, if we take a look at this. Oh, oh, I forgot. Your numbers are all off and everything. Yeah. That's not a uh, minus two and a minus, minus one for one you. More? And then, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is or something, but I was able to make it this week so that I could show you when the last time we did a show and then what the standings are right now. And uh, you've taken quite a bit of a hit compared to uh, uh, last time we did the show. I see. I've had 50 losses. Um but none of this matters. This means absolutely nothing. I just enjoy doing this kind of stuff. But what does matter is that Kurt is finally on a little bit of a run with his wins. So we can we can take a look at that. We just jump right back into that. Evan's gone on a run, on a tear. And now it's Kurt's turn. This is kind of like whose line is it, in, is it anyway? You know, all the points are made up. Everything. And all, it, no, everything's made up and the points don't matter. Yes. Yeah, that's and, right. Um, Speaking of things that matter. Of that actually do. This actually matters. Yes, I wanted to show week by week. Two two different sets of weeks right there. I just 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 showed just how bad Memphis was uh with destroying us. What was that? That's that's a solid almost a month of not losing at all. Uh Memphis and then right to the Lakers with Evan. What do you think about that? Um Yeah, I mean we kinda saw it happening. That's Almost, I mean, it's almost an entire month of just Evan Memphis. Well, yeah. and, and, and going right to the Lakers, yeah. And now, and now Kurt has it, and and that's what I said from the beginning. I, I'm pretty sure I said Clippers might be one of Kurt's best teams. It all depends on if Kawhi is going to be a giant v- or not, because he'll take an entire mm. month off just to take a month off. So, and he was, and he was my favorite player for like a, quite a few years, and now I can't stand. I remember him. that. Yeah, I can't stand him now. Now, now I, I just love Jimmy Butler because he, he's like, you know what? I'm going to play as much as I can, and he's awesome. Yeah, you know what? Um, the trophy has been in the West for the vast majority of our tournament here, of the season, really. There haven't been many East teams that have gone on a run. No, not at all. Like a lot of our top teams haven't really even had a chance to touch it. Really, like I don't think any. That, that's that'd be another good thing to add to our uh, stats show that we're doing. So, all right. So we have trophy holder here. Uh, the Clippers. Their next game is going on right now. It's actually just starting like twenty seconds ago. We have Clippers and the Hawks, and I'm surprised at this. They're actually giving it to Atlanta. What do you think about that? I think Atlanta will win. I I was actually out with uh, one of my buddies last night, and I was telling him about this league that we're doing, and I was like, I really think this is when it comes to the East. Although, if you look at the Hawks' uh, schedule, they're playing pretty much all West Coast teams for the next week. Mm, That's not good. I I think the Hawks will take it tonight. You do? See, I have the Hawks, and I'm rooting for them, but I don't think they will. Um, And if we look at one of the next slides, just uh, I mean, they do have a pretty good chance. If you look at the injury reports... Um, I think they're going to be fine. But if we look at this schedule, or all right, well, whatever. If we look at the schedule, I would think that Milwaukee is going to take it, and I think Kurt owns them anyway. Like I think that's going to be their next loss on February second. There. I mean, the next three teams are Eastern teams. Next four teams, five teams, six teams are Eastern teams. So I'd like to see it come over to the East for a little while. I do have some. Top, you know, six teams in the East. I've got a couple of them. So do you. You just haven't been getting the 
Haven't been aligning with the trophy course. No, they haven't. Uh, yeah, I think I think Memphis got it at the right time, and it just stayed over there. Just couldn't come by. Yeah, they they played Milwaukee. Excuse me, twice in the next what three weeks, two weeks. So, I think it's going to go to Milwaukee. Well, if it goes to Chicago, the Knicks, or Brooklyn, you'll be, be set. Ready. You'll be set. All right, we'll see. I don't see any Evan team, so that's good. Oh, and here is our matchup right now. So when I did this, when I originally made this slide, we were up 5-3. And I believe if we take a quick look, you can't see this right now, but I'm going to show it on our screen for the podcast. You are up 5-3 to three as of right now. And we can sit here and talk about this for a little bit. So uh, what, oh, what, what's your take yeah, first? Yeah, this graphic isn't even in real time. Well. Nope. What I've done is I've taken over three points. I've taken over rebounds, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty close on free throw, and I'm actually catching up on points. Um, I think I take it six to two. You do? Okay. I I will be even bet that we will we will be. I think Evan and I will take the lead tonight, and here's why: you took the lead because you had three guys play already, and I we had zero guys play. So that's why you took the lead. And you're winning. Like, I'm looking at the screen. You're winning three-pointers by two. Rebounds are nine. So I don't think I, – I think we're going to end up taking the lead by the end of tonight. Is Are we live right now? No, we're not live right now. But I'm I'm showing the live uh, fantasy matchup right now. So can we pause this and, and upload the real one on there and see? Yes. Yep. Here. No. I'll. I. I, I can we'll be right back. That. Yeah. Just give us a quick, quick second here. <laughs> All right. So, so here's our fantasy matchup, and I We're just. Up, I we we are back from intermission, and I just updated it. Uh, <laughs> it was five three us, and now it's five three you. And as I was trying to explain, is you've yeah, already right. had three of your players go, and play today, which is why you're up in three pointers, as you pointed out, and rebounds. So now we can look at the next slide, which is you, I believe, right? It's like a live. Yeah, and I, I look at this, Brent, like, uh, you know, you're saying, oh, I've already had three players. But it's like, it doesn't really matter how many players I have because I have a lot more just, you know, oomph to my players. You can have, is like, that, five players. Because I was going to say, your, your players right. going tonight are your scrub players. Like, we actually have real players going tonight. You have – your best player is DeMar DeRozan, and your second best is D'Angelo Russell. Really? That's – that's your that's your oomph that you're going with DeRozan and D'Angelo Russell. You know what though? I'm looking at categories. So yes, these aren't my top players. I don't have Steph Curry tonight. I don't have Cat. I don't have Donovan Mitchell. You know that would change things. But I'm looking for three points, and I'm looking for rebounds, and I'm looking for 79% field goal range. Uh, uh, field yeah, field goal range. You and are, that's all I really need for today and tomorrow. So you are big man happy, which means you should be good with field goal percentage. Uh, three pointers, I don't yeah. know so much. Your big men aren't really three point shooters. That's why I picked up Mike Conley, and I have Russell. And then tomorrow, I still have two more moves, and you've got one. So we'll see. You only have one move. Gonna tomorrow? go out, go until tomorrow. All right, all right. Well, let's look at my team and see where we're at. See, like you already had three players that are completed. Like I have, we have all these guys ready to go. Although, although Mason, uh, Marcus Smart still hurt again. But see, I have Trey Young, Zach Levine, Ben Caro, Vucevic, uh, Dame. I have I have big name guys ready to play today. Yeah, Dame uh, blew me up last week or uh, last the other day. Two days ago, the other day yeah, that was crazy. That was wild. Go for 60 again. Good for him. He, I think he's like 32, 33. Good for him for doing that. That's like Kobe-esque right there. Fortunately, he only has one more game this week, and it's tonight. So if I can bear the storm tonight, I can uh, make a few adjustments tomorrow and cruise to, the, uh, cruise to the victory. Cruise to victory? Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. All right. All right. I still think I still think Evan and I are going to come out on top tonight. I bet we will at least take the lead tonight. How many uh, percentage-wise, percent of the – Decisions come from Evan. Zero. Team. Uh, okay. No, no, that's a lie. Two. I can't drop Marcus Smart and I can't drop Ben Carroll. So 2% or two decisions? Two decisions. Okay. Two decisions. 
All right, on to the next. Who is this player, Brent? Um, they still play. They're on Utah. They're big with Memphis. Small forward. They went to Sacramento for a while. They were their small forward. And now he's with Utah. An all right three-point shooter. Who was Memphis's small forward for years? Jeez, and, and a solid player, too. It's not even like you picked a scrub or anything. I know. Oh, look how many oh, games. He that's easy. Rudy Gay. Yeah, yeah good. Rudy Gay. Right. Yeah, Rudy Gay. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Cause I, well, I'm looking for All-Star, and, that, and that's one guy. He's always been snubbed of an All-Star. Yeah, he's he's all stats. Yeah. He's no real, like, ta or, or wins, but uh, he was he was always decent. I always liked Rudy Gay. Me, too. I always wish he came to the Knicks. I would always play like 2K11 when he was, you know, like killing it. And I'd yeah. like make my own draft team and <laughs> bring him to the Knicks. <laughs> yep. Yep. He was, he was always solid. Yeah, I was a big fan. All right. That, that Utah, thing, Utah thing threw me off a little bit. And that he's still playing. He's been around a long time. Yeah. Yep. And now he's like a, now he's like a power forward center now. Like I said, small forward on the thing. But now he, now he plays center. Hmm. A little hmm so I'm, done playing i think Point he's guard. trying to come back he's trying to come back like I he's telling you like that might be, a, be a, a bad hint to give you but he's he's <laughs> trying to come back like he's telling teams i will come play for you for like free he's been a journeyman since 2016 boston cleveland lakers denver washington <laughs> he, he, new orleans lakers again dallas and then wow charlotte huh Sacramento. Drafted by Sacramento? Yes. Do you want me to tell you what number pick he was or no? Sure. 60th. I believe 60th. I believe okay, he was at least towards the end. I I, I think when you hear who it is, you realize, oh, that, okay, that 60th pick probably would have helped. I can give you another hint, but I think it'll give it away. No, no, no. Just give me a second. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. I'll stop being an a-hole. No, you're good. You're trying to you're trying to get me to get it, and I'm like, I'm just trying to think who's been a point guard for like four games here, three games here, twelve games here. I mean, his numbers are not terrible. 2016, 2017. He was an all-star. Yeah, he was an all-star twice. Terrible defender. With Boston. Terrible defender. I don't know. I feel um, like. All right, you, you just let me know if you want me to start giving you hints. I will give you hints. I yeah, can... yeah. Let's see the okay. hints because I'm I'm stumped. Okay, all you right, you ready? Be, I'm stumped. Yeah. This, this this almost has like a double meaning. Uh, uh, most commonly known for being overlooked. <laughs> That's why he was drafted 60th, and he's very overlooked by every team. Um, is he short? He is very short. They say he's 5'9", but I think I'm pretty sure he's closer to like 5'7". Not seven, Isaiah five, Thomas. Eight. It is. Yeah, this is Isaiah Thomas. What? Really? Yeah. I was thinking him, but I thought that's who you did last week. No, I... So I, I was like, it's not going to be. That's, I, I said to you, I'm like, I'm 90% sure I've done this guy already. But I think I yeah, did him like week okay, two or okay. something. I think I did him like week two or something like that. Hmm. He, he he was the only one I could think of, and I was like, I know it's not him because he's already done that. <laughs> oh, well, then now I feel like I need to go get another No, it's guy. okay. It's, it's fine. I should have just said, I should have just said, huh, it looks a lot like Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> I would have been like, Damn. Yeah. All right. Well, I got I to gotta, nice. I gotta remember who I picked next time, but a little bit better. That's okay. It still stumped me. All right. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Next play at MSG, the Mecca. Speaking of our world, our not six Knicks that were not born in the USA. Uh, current Knicks or any Knicks? Name that Nick. Any Nick. Any Nick. Gallinari. Uh, Pablo Prigioni. Sasa Vujicic. Um, nope. Tony Kukoc was not on the Knicks. I believe Patrick Ewing is not from the U.S. I believe That's he was correct. From 
I believe he's somewhere from Africa, I think. Jamaica. He was Jamaica? Okay. I believe Emmanuel Moutier was born in Germany, I believe. Mm. Um, so now, so, now you got it. I, I was thinking six or seven. I went with six. You could probably name a few more. Mm. Uh, five. Chris Evans, Porzingis. Six. Um, Beno Udre. Seven. Um, the guy I should be able like even on the team right now. Who's that? Who's who's that guy whose name we can't remember? Is like Mish Mishlik Mishkikinbingin or something like that. The guy that Ryan? apparently plays. No, not Ryan Archie Cano. The guy, his name is like M S K Y S H O something like that. I don't remember. Uh, Nilakina. Yes, yeah, that was that was like, so that's seven, right, or eight? Uh, eight I, with Udri. I think so. Um, I should be able. To, I should be able to name a whole bunch more, and I cannot believe that I can't. It's uh, you're right. It's Sevilla to Sevilla to Slav. My Kikolukuk. Yeah, that. It, well, I, yeah, I don't. I don't I, yes, that guy. That guy is the one who I'm thinking of. Oh, man. I. That that was a bit of a struggle. Uh, it, it was. It no, that was, was a it, struggle. It, that was good. That but was it, made, it did make me think a little bit. Yeah, name six are not born in the USA. Um, I should have said name ten, like top ten. I would have said have been in the US, USA. Ten, ten, ten would have been cool. Um, no, six, six was cool too, but like, like I'm trying to think of, I'm, let me try to get to 10. I have eight. You're at eight, right? Yeah. See, now, now at this point I'm blanking. Yeah. Oh that's, that's why I stopped at six. Cause I didn't think of Moutier or Udry. Um, There's gotta be at least two more. Oh, I, I bet there are a whole lot more just played for the Knicks. I bet there yeah. are a whole lot more. Um, at like the NBA level, not like their their Westchester team, team or whatever like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I bet there are a couple on the team. I bet there's at least one more on the team right now. What about uh Oh, technically R- uh, RJ RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett's from Canada. Yeah, Canadian. And He's then uh Enos Cantor. Enos Cantor. Cantor. Turkish. Yeah, that that that's another one right there. Cantor. Yeah. That's ten. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that Steve that Novak. Was... Wasn't he Canadian? I no, I think he's Wisconsin. Uh, I think he, I think he was close. Wisconsin. He he might have been. He he might have been. He might have. Well, he's Zerbiak. From, he wasn't Canadian. I think he's Is Australian. He I think he's Australian. Mm. Uh, no, dude is from Spain. Okay. Wow, I didn't uh, know William that. William Gomez. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Ah, whatever. No, that was well, that was like that was pretty cool. Out, we could name about 14, 15. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that one. Should have done something with money where I made money off of it. That's what that's what <laughs> we should be doing. Like like putting like a dollar wager on this is what we should be doing. Mm. Because mm. currently, if I win our league or our matchup tonight, I'm gonna win my money. Or are we gonna just add on another bet? I mean, I mean, we could. And like, it'll be what? It, what is it gonna be? Sense. Isn't it going to be double or – it's technically double or nothing, isn't it? Because don't I owe you 10 bucks and 3 cents? Isn't that what it is? So is it 20 and 20 six? and 6 cents, yes. So, okay. uh, I mean, we could just keep it going until I see you so I can pay you in person. Um, here, 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 I you mean, ready? these days, I don't need cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, nobody does. I don't need, like, your $5 bill and your – Ten dollars. It's the your pride pocket. of it. It's 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 the practicality of it is what you need. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Here, you ready? Uh, ready. For this name that Nick thing, it'll be a dollar. And for every time I ask for like a hint or something like that, I have to pay a quarter or something like that. Or like like I put down <laughs> five bucks and There's if no I ask hints. for a hint. Okay. Well, like, like how last week I got like Evan's help or whatever, like that. Like, yeah, like right, I, right. I, I have to give up some money. So no, then I, we're out. Yeah, yeah, we're good, man. We can end the show and keep talk and keep talking. Yeah, we could, we could end, we could end our NBA tag of the thing you're at, whatever hill. Tag show. of the hill, you're <laughs> tag, of, tag of the game, you're hill. <laughs> tag of the hills, you're gone. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Something like that. All right, we're done. Oh boy.